Lamberis Pass is probably one of the special places for me. It's the crucible of British climbing, maybe. And I've been coming here for years. I remember when I was 16, I, I hitched here. It took me two days from Teesside. I tumbled out with some knackered old car onto the grass by the side of the road. And it was boiling hot sunshine. I looked up and the Cromlick was just like there, totally staring down, towering over me. And it had so much history. I was just desperate to do like left wall, the corner, right wall. And then years passed and I went to doing Lord of the Flies. But there was one route that always stuck out as like the challenge, nightmare. And man, it is the challenge. For me, it's been like something that's been bubbling away for a while. I, I don't know whether I ever thought I'd go for it, really, because it's hard. People have been doing it over the years and it's got a reputation. And I, I, I figured I, it just, I just had to go for it. I just had to go for a, a style that was as going to give me a real challenge so obviously it's been head pointed by quite a few people and I figured I was going to try and give it an on-site I knew it was about 8A in terms of grade I knew the top wall was massively run out but potentially had some gear I'd heard there was like a, a crucial wire somewhere hard to find hard to place but there was something up there but you had to get it in and uh, I guess today was the day, everything fell into place. The weather was right, um, it was just time to try. So, you get to the girdle ledge, it's quite hard to there, it's like E6, a bit spicy, there's some gear but it's not very good, it feels quite hard, like sort of 7A plus front French grade. From the girdle ledge you, you trundle leftwards a little bit and then you just set off up this wall and it was quite a bit harder than what I expected. I don't know what I was expecting. I knew it was supposed to be about eight here, and it is, but for some reason I thought it was gonna be easier. And you quest up this wall, constantly hard moves, like lots of small holds. I, I guess it suited me, it's on your feet, crimpy holds. And then the, 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 the crucial wire, it was just like right there in front of my face. It was kind of obvious, a little slot, and it went in. I couldn't tell how good it was. It, it looked as though it was all right. And then I moved away from there. And then just before you know it, you just off and you, you glancing back at this wire and it's flipping miles away. You just have to sort of shut that out of your brain. And to be honest, the climbing was so intense and so engaging that I was just climbing it. And I, I put in some pretty touch and go moves. I, to be honest, one point I thought I was gonna drop it felt as though I was out of there. My foot wasn't on right. I felt as though I was going to sketch mode where you just pedal and hope for the best, but I just had to keep it together. Oh, man. Go on, you got me. Yeah, really good. Go on. And then I finally got to these pretty good holes actually, um, quite close to top. And then um, I knew there was a skyhook somewhere and I, I had the skyhook with me and then it was obviously going to go there. So I plonked the skyhook on. Um, to be honest, half of putting the skyhook in was to take the weight of the ropes off me because they felt pretty heavy at that point. And once the skyhook was on, I was onto the last bit, which from below looked all right. 
I could see some chalk, it looked like the hold was okay. The top was so tantalizingly close. And I set off into those final few moves and I suddenly got to a point where I thought, oh no, I've, I've blown it. I can't work out what to do. The top was literally six inches away and I couldn't figure it out. And I felt as though I could sketch something which might not work, but might work. And I calmed it down and thought, right, what do you need to do? Your right foot's got to go a bit higher to make this move work. And I figured it out, got my right foot higher, went back into the move, crossed over, job done. And that was just so awesome. Just keeping it together for those final few moves was just amazing. That was, that was the route. What a buzz. Spiciest route I've done for a while. Probably don't want to do anything anywhere near as spicy as that for a very long time. 